The Chapman community is honoring Latinx Heritage Month with a variety of events right here on campus. Carissa Davis has the story. No están solos, you are not alone. No están solos, you are not alone. Detention center strikes, unjust treatment of undocumented students, and the tension between the U.S. and Mexico border are all on the rise. Latinx Heritage Month from September 15th to October 15th aims to raise awareness to the ongoing conflicts affecting Latinx people. A time to celebrate the Latinx identity, but also a time to educate students on important issues affecting this demographic. We spoke with members at the Cross Cultural Center here at Chapman to see what they're doing to help honor this month. Junior Natalia Ventura is from Chula Vista, a town only 10 minutes away from the Mexico border a border she crossed every weekend to visit family members. We still cross the border to like go to the orthodontist or go grocery shopping or just like to have a day out with the family because, you know, healthcare is cheaper down there. She is the lead assistant of the Cross Cultural Center here at Chapman and has been organizing events for the Latinx community. Chapman held their first ever undocumented student conference last Saturday organized by Chapman grad student Basti Lopez. There are undocumented students at private universities. You might not hear of them, but they're there. Some of them might be working two, three, four jobs just to manage and pay their tuition. And so what my question that comes to mind is what are private universities doing to help these type of students? Another event for Latinx month was the border crisis teach-in. It had a panel of professors educating students on the border conflicts and immigration. In order to develop a more humane response to migration from Central America, and in order to humanize these people, we need to actually understand what's going on in these countries. Students were encouraged to decorate bags with words of hope and compassion for the future of the Latinx community. But a common thread is that Chapman can be doing more to encourage diversity. We have to be more intentional of how to really connect with our students, how to program um, and do more intentional efforts to help them. At the end of the day, like we just want to be heard. We want to be valued. You have this uh, talented, community of potential Chapman students right here in Orange County. And so I think some steps are being made in that direction, but in the long run, uh, less symbolic acts and more, um, more real uh, policies. Latinx Heritage Month will continue until October 15th. Hopefully Chapman will begin to push for more representation for our Latinx students. For Chapman News, I'm Carissa Davis. If you're interested in learning more about Chapman's Heritage Month programming, stop by the Cross Cultural Center in Argeros Forum.